Bore building is a lot of rectifying tiny little blemishes and mistakes and next time I'm not going to make that tiny little mistake. And all these things you just learn over time and then slowly things become a lot easier and quicker. So my name is Mitch Clark, I'm a surfboard shaper, backyard surfboard shaper from Newquay, Cornwall. And what does that mean? <laughs> it means I make surfboards in a shed <laughs> in the back of my friend's garden. <laughs> That's what it means. That's what it means. I think there's a lot more people doing it, you know, 20, 30 years ago than there is now. And I think that's partly because of the industry and what, what they've done with the industry, you know. It's, it's just very, mar you know, everything's marketed, everything's in your face in the industry now. And people get sold on a certain idea and they see a pro riding the board and that's what they get in their head that they want. And, but if they're riding a board that they're not having fun on, then you know, it can take a lot away. People can lose interest really fast in surfing if they're not riding the correct equipment, you know. Surfing my own boards is, a, is you know, a really important thing to me. I think it brings so much more to surfing if you're surfing a board that you've built. I just want people to, to be riding the right equipment on the right waves, you know, and, and having as much fun as they possibly can. I'm just doing it because I really enjoy doing it, and there's so much more satisfaction in riding a board that you've built. As long as it's hand-shaped, in my opinion, um, then it's a good board. I just want to build them for me and friends and anyone that wants one really, anyone that can appreciate that the sort of the way that I do it and my mentality behind it and then uh, you know where to find me. <laughs>